For just a moment, her timidness seems to disappear. Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, you know, out of the three, should I go in any order? I don't think it really matters that much. I'm just gonna give it to the president because she probably knows what she's doing. Hi again, Kyoto. How's the writing going? Oh, it's alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. All right, this one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Mmm, you know, honestly, I don't think so. Not myself. I mean, I'm really just writing the poems the way that they give me the words. So, I kind of just like the way that I'm writing them, you know? I don't really care what you guys think. It's my poem. <laughs> I guess so. I can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most... romantic. Mmm, mmm, yeah, romantic, huh? Like, not in the love sense, either. It's... It's, it's the romantic and the dark, twisted kind of horror sense, I guess, because it's, it's Yuri we're talking about, right? She has something dark to hide. She's not telling us. That's the best way to describe it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Monica. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that, too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside her. Mm-hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> no, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that... You must be pretty into her. Uh, mm hmm Hmm, how can you tell from just that? That sounds kind of fishy. You completely misunderstood. <laughs> Calm down, I'm just kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? <laughs> I mean, she's the... Hmm, those kinds of types, I guess they could, huh? It's more of a... It's more of a closet type of relationship. You don't really know about it. Yeah, a fictional one anyway. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, that, that would make a lot more sense, alright. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. Oh, alright. It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's not really anything to worry about. Um... Oh, well, I know. I was just saying... But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Save me. The f What? Alright. Is that a little bit weird? Okay, well, I guess it's just the start of the poem anyways. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Oh, shit. You're on acid. All right. Well, we're gonna have to clean you up. Bright, beautiful colors. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still on acid. All right. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. So you're crazy. All right. Violent, grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust, an endless poem of meaningless... What the... Load me. Am I supposed to... Whoa, okay, I didn't want to do that. That was kind of creepy, seeing her face after reading that. Can I, like, uh, hmm. Hmm. No, 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 there's, there's no way, right? Just, it's gotta check. It's gotta check. Load me. So you're tripping on acid. And you keep hearing the that um that sound from the TV, the static. Alright. 
And, uh, all right, and you're playing vinyls on a pizza crust. That's, that's, that's pretty normal out of all that. So actually, that's okay. Well, in any case, load me. All right, cool. Well, that's great. You know, I'm just gonna say it's great. She's the president. She knows what she's doing, right? Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, 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 I never said that. It's just the kind of thing I've never really seen before, <laughs> I guess. Especially, you know, your paper was a lot longer than a 9 by 11 sheet. Just, I don't, I don't know where you got that kind of paper, but you know, it's interesting. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. How'd you point that out after I just said that? All right. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. Uh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah, like when I think about that, it's kind of a weird thing, huh? So, because the things that she wants to say, I guess, is uh, is shorter in that in that poem than it was like the things about the turntable and the static and it's kind of weird, but yeah, okay, that makes sense. And then the long distance between load me because that's the pause. That's that's an interesting way to play with your paper that's maybe like two 9 by 11 sheets just taped together. But, alright, that's creative, I guess. Did you just bring that? How did you put that in your folder? How did you put that in your backpack? Did you have to fold it in half? These are dumb questions. Oh well. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. What? You're breaking my, my immersion right now. You never know when you might change your mind, or when something unexpected may happen. See, I roll with the punches, you know, I just stick with the consequences. We don't save over that thing. We save when we end this video. That's when that saves. Mm-hmm. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? Ah ha 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 ha. Eh. Eh. Weird. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, yeah, that's kind of, eh. I don't know what to say about that one. All right, let's show it to our best friend, and then we got to show it to Natsuki last because she's, she's being a real bee right now. Ach! Ooh, I like this one, Kyoto. It has some nice feelings in it. Ah, I'm glad that you like my poem. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Mm, let me think. I don't know. Thanks for that answer. I guess I like them both. <laughs> That's not very helpful, you know? Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. What kinds of things? Does it matter? I'm not exactly sure how that works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Okay, perfect. Ugh. Why don't you at least give it some thought? Ah, uh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. I never said that, did I? Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Like Robin Williams. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait. I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah, I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? 
I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes, when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug. And make a nice happy rainbow. Sayori? That's unexpectedly poetic. And actually, that's a really good line, you know, I gotta say, when you, you know, rain clouds make the rainbows, it's actually kind of interesting. Hmm, good metaphor. Um, hands off to you, you know, uh, developer, I guess. Eh, it is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Kyoto. Okay, yeah, you know, that's great and all, just don't Robin Williams. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Mmm, okay. <clears throat> Let's get ready for this one. He's like a, holy jeez. All right, well, let's go. Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. Ugh. But there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all of the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles all in a row. My collection makes me a lot of friends. Each bottle of starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. It's getting really creepy. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. <laughs> this is getting really weird. <laughs> like exploring a dark cave. The secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging. Scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends looked through my locked front door. Finally all done, I open up and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend. Each and every bottle, but every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I really want <laughs> that's, that's the whole Robin Williams right here. Making everybody happy, or trying to make everybody happy, and you put all these happy things together, and then you try to give your happiness away, and every time you give it away, you lose some of your own, and then you drop it, and then there's just nothing. It's wasted. That's, that's a little bit... Yeah, these are really insightful poems. I guess it's kind of um, the way that this game's supposed to be made, right? Holy crap. Yeah, thanks, me. High five, man. Good job. You got that right. Sorry? Did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot, and I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> please, I hope it's just your feelings. <laughs> I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. <laughs> creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to being cheerful, or you being cheerful, really. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good. So you should be proud of it. Aw, uh, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. That's scary. Writing is like magic. Sure. Sure, let's say that. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best! I'm gonna keep writing until I die! Oh god! 
What are you saying? Uh, yeah, don't get out of yourself. 